This is Hannibal here from TheHannibalTV.com. Jake Atlas held the PCW Ultra lightweight title for 357 days, but unfortunately lost it tonight. There's rumors circulating. This might actually be your farewell to PCW tonight, but what are your thoughts on losing the title and are we going to see a rematch? Man, I mean, I was the longest reigning PCW Ultralight Champion here at PCW and actually the, 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 the man who won it for me tonight, Douglas James, was the longest reigning before me and I surpassed his reign and it looks like he was able to become a two time. Um, that title meant a lot to me, you know, it was uh, I carried this division for so long, for 357 days, you know, match after match after match. Um, I tried to do the best to show the fans and show management that I was something that was worth being on this roster. I was worth being a champion. I was worth, I had something to offer. And so, you know, uh, losing, obviously, no one wants to lose and everyone wants to be champion forever. But I think it speaks volumes when you know you've put your your blood your sweat your tears and your dedication to make the division and the championship and its challengers mean something so you know i did lose the championship and you know rumors are saying this is my last match and this was my last time at pcw ultra but if it's not you know never say never i'm i'm ready to come back and take back my championship now, for some of the fans up in Canada that may never have seen you compete, what are some of your career highlights thus far? So, obviously, longest reigning uh, PCW Ultralight Champion. Um, I was on PWG's Battle of Los Angeles this year. I was able to make it to the second round. Um, I've had I had stellar matches with AEW's Jungle Boy, um, New Japan's Dragon Lee. Um, I've held uh, Santino Brothers Heavyweight Champion from the Santino Brothers School here in Southern California. Um, I, you know, have had matches at Defy, um, which is kind of closer to up to the border. Yeah. Um, I've traveled all over the nation. I went to the United Kingdom and had uh, a couple of showings out there for Fight Club Pro, who is owned by NXT UK's Trent Seven, um, and also OTT Over the Top Wrestling in Ireland. Um, so that was a huge career highlight this past year. So um, I did definitely got my name out there a little bit more this this year. Um, so yeah. And where can fans follow you if they want to look you up on social media? So all of my social media handles are the same. You can find me at I am Jake Atlas. I am most active on Twitter and Instagram. Um, so go ahead and uh, give, you know hit that follow button and give me uh, give me all your support. I definitely appreciate it. Well, thanks a lot for speaking with us. I know you're on to great things. So best of luck to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you guys. Thank you for watching.